Um, do you want to uh, do an interview about what, you're, what you've got here? Absolutely, sure. Okay, hi. so here. Uh, okay. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Da. I'm the Chief Product Officer of Libre Computer. Today we're at the uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival and then we're demoing a couple of things. So this is our board called Lafrit. It's a fully open source, powered fully open by uh, upstream open source software. And the hardware schematics are open as well. Okay, so it's got a memory thing, a processing thing. Wow, you know your stuff. Uh, yeah, so, I, know, I know the things. Okay. I don't know specifics. Yeah. So here we have um, our board for $20. So this is called the Lafrit. And it's uh, slightly more powerful than a Raspberry Pi 3. And it's uh, half the power. Oh, wow. And half the heat. So this is running passively, all the demos. And then this is a full size HDMI, Ethernet, and uh, two USBs. So is this a 3D printer? No. These are the 3D printers. This is the. This can act as a controller board for your 3D printer to make your offline printer online. Okay. And also provide, um, let's say you plug in a webcam, you can monitor the print. You plug this into your 3D printer. Yep. And then what's the advantage of that? Um, the advantage of that is that you can mount a UBC camera and you can run web services on this, like a standard um, Linux distribution. Okay. And then you can stream that MJPEG stream out of your webcam directly to the web so that you can watch your print live. We even have other powerful boards that have um, NPUs and AI capability. And hopefully a vendor here will write a model, train a model. Oh, that will it will do, get AI on here? Yeah, get AI oh. and 3D printing. So you know how like Clipper revolutionized 3D printing? Yeah. Um, the next step is the AI detecting whether your print is misprinted, okay. whether it attached or not to the base plate for your first layer, etc. So all of that is exciting technology that we want to see in the next you know, year or two uh, happen. And okay. we're, we're a platform company. We work on software providing upstream open source reliable hardware and software to build on. Are you concerned that once you put AI on here, it will be able to do other things, like it might print out its things that you, you didn't want? Uh, uh, that, that'll leave for Elon Musk. He has all the p more powerful AI processors. These are edge AI, so they're not as powerful as um, the large language models and the super AIs yeah. that Terminators of the world are training. But couldn't this one, even though it's not as smart, connect to the internet with the bigger AIs and get orders from them? I do um, low-level embedded development. Um, so I tie together hardware and software into a cohesive platform that has security updates and is reliable. And at a cost structure that's uh, leading the market along with software that leads the market. Okay. Um, so we, I've been focused mostly on the foundational technology, so I haven't done much. This is like my second event besides Embedded World that I went to. We have a lot of customers that are just interested in our product because of the open source work that we do. So that's a great, you know, uh, promotional item, just being open source. I really like what you're doing here. Yeah. It looks like it's just like a little bit smaller than a Raspberry Pi too, so yeah, you can integrate it easier. Yeah, so the goal is to be compatible to not produce electronic waste and to reuse components that already exist. So um, we're excited for what this next coming year is going to bring because we have a lot of software that has matured. You know, we hope companies and individuals really take advantage of the software stack that we've built because there's so many functionalities to unlock. So does it have an AI processor on there? or uh, we have an, This one does not. This one's okay. a low-cost model. We have one called um, Solitude that's in here. Okay. And Alta that's in here. You can't see the boards, but they, we introduced them this year, and they have an upstream AI MPU stack. So that's something exciting. So that helps it be smarter, essentially. Yeah, that's it's doing the job of a Raspberry Pi and a Google Coral in one board. Oh, wow. So Yeah, I don't know what either of those, like the Coral is, but yeah. it sounds like that's like a AI chip. Yeah, it's their AI chip for doing, uh, for running their models and getting, you know, object detection, classification, post-detection. Okay. All those, like, um, data out of a video stream. You said it's AI to do object detection. Yes. Um, and then when it recognizes that there's something going on, does it like talk to you or? So you have to train the model. So you get a lot of prints. You film them yeah. from a specific position 
and then you basically tag the video saying this is a failure, this didn't stick, yada uh, yada. You give it data points. Okay. And then you feed all of this into your NVIDIA GPU clusters right. in the cloud that you're renting. The big computer trains the AI, yeah. and then it downloads that brain onto that computer. Exactly, so it trains the model with the weights, and then you take that and you run it on your edge device, and then it will do the object recognition on whether, oh, this is a misprint, this is a problem, you know, this printed successfully, you know, are my layers separating, et cetera, et cetera. You can train a lot, but it, it needs uh, a lot of engineering talent to or for people to go and do this. And a lot of data, too. So you need to have a lot of video footage. Can I touch this? Uh, yes, this is Maker My Nexus, our partners in this booth who brought the printers. So he said this one has AI on it. It's using the Solitude board as the printer controller. It's not okay. using it, the AI capability. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we're waiting for more people to adopt the boards so that this way Don knows what we need so he can kind of help build on it. Until we know what people are looking for, because realistically, I'm more of a, I build the printers and show them off kind yeah. of guy. I'm not really uh, get into the real features of them. Well, you better be careful, because once this thing gets smart enough, it won't need you anymore. You're right. I'm waiting for that. It'd be yeah. great to just say, this is what, it, it'll know what I'm thinking, and it will just print that for me. First it serves wow. us, then it serves itself, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I would keep an eye on this one. Yeah. All right. That, that one, too. That's also that one, too. This has a Solitude board. That one is currently running the Alta board. So those are two of the higher-end boards that Libre is offering right now. Are you selling these uh, on a website or something? Uh, yeah, these are all available on Amazon. And then, um, they've been available even throughout the shortages, the microchip shortages. Yeah, the microchip shortages. Yeah, yeah. That uh, Raspberry Pi was really struggling to sell $200 well, yeah. they boards. Sell a lot, so. <laughs> My goal for coming to this event was to get Dot out into the public so that he could talk to the people and see what 3D printing folks wanted in the boards. Because with the exception of Big Tree Tech, none of the other manufacturers are coming to these events and talking to any of the people yeah. that are doing this. It took a little coaxing to get Dot, you know, Dot here, but I got him here and I'm excited, I'm happy, nice. and I think he's having a good time. It looks like it. He's been very busy himself explaining what the boards are and what they do. Have you seen the Terminator? Yes. Are you worried that he's the guy that's going to train the robots? Yeah. He's going to be the guy in Terminator that says, it was my fault that this And happened. then he gets the detonator at the end and he, he's the one that has to blow it up. Yeah. So Dal da will be the one to save humanity after... Uh -uh. <laughs> I would be worried for open AI if I was that good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Because I'm not that good, I'm doing this. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure talking to you guys. I hope it was great. more people can learn about this and maybe yeah. put it on their own printer at home. Yeah. Do you guys want stickers? I got stickers. Do you want stickers? I got oh, yeah, we, we, got, got, we stickers. got stickers. I'm going to have to plaster these all over. Oh, there you go. I'll take one of these, too. Hey, by the way, if one slipped in his pocket, he would probably do videos on it. I will oh, warn yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, I say yeah. That. Oh, I'll take one. Nathan is I'll a take... sweetheart. He really is. Oh, but oh thank also, you. Nathan's a sweetheart, but he's yes. also very honest and sometimes brutally honest. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll try. I'll try to be nice to these little guys because they're they're gonna be smarter than me eventually. Yes. Yes. Okay. One day. Yeah. <laughs>